Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I added this battery meter to the Meeple board. And this is the end result. This was a pretty simple uh, mod to do to the Meeple. Uh, all you need is this battery gauge, uh, links in the descri description, uh, and you need to know how to solder a little bit, and some electrical tape or heat shrink tubing. Obviously the first thing you have to do is take the cover off, the battery case cover, and then I took the uh, gauge itself and I placed it onto the plastic here, and I traced out uh, with the knife the, uh, the hole that I need to cut. And uh, so what I used is a, uh, a hot knife or uh, soldering iron with a, uh, a blade on the end of it and I cut out this the rectangular hole out and I also had to cut uh, trim the um, the gauge casing itself a little bit I don't know if you can see that just so that it would clear a little bit better and then uh, I snapped in the uh, the gauge to the case and sealed it with a little bit of hot glue uh, to give a little bit of a water resistance so that's the gauge itself mounting. It's pretty simple, right? Uh, next, I'll just show you how I wired it up. It's pretty easy too. The gauge comes with this little wire here, uh, two, two wires, the red wire for positive, the black wire for negative, and those go directly to the battery. And uh, it just plugs into the back of the gauge like, like so, right? And then so what I did was I chose to mount or solder on the wires to the battery itself. And um, so how I did that was I took a razor blade and I cut a little square hole on the outside edge near the, uh, near the connector on both sides, on the black side and the negative side. Sorry, the black side and the positive side. And I soldered them to there and then I heat shrunk the, the connector to protect it and after I was done it uh, it looked like so looked like this and then I chose not to solder to the uh, charge leads because I got a different voltage reading and that's probably because it goes through the BMS so here's the battery back in the case and all plugged in and you can see that there's plenty of space for it, it doesn't get in the way of anything uh, but uh, before you uh, bolt up the battery case to the board itself, uh, you may want to change some of the settings on the uh, gauge itself. Here are the settings for changing the uh, settings on the battery itself. So if you want to take a closer look, just uh, hit pause for a sec. And you'll probably want to play around with the settings, change them the way you want it to be before mounting it back onto the board. Well, that's it for the battery gauge mod on the Meepo board. Um, subscribe for more m videos on modifications to the board. And uh, I have a few ideas that I want to try out. Um, so thanks for watching.